So for today's Species Spotlight, we are going to be talking about my all-time favorite animal here in Washington State, the Northern Pacific Rattlesnake, Crotalus oreganus. As they start emerging from their dens, um, people are going to see a lot more of them, so I figured we'd make a cool video on them. So first off, where can you find rattlesnakes here in Washington? So they're only on the eastern side of the state and a little bit in the central portion. So if you're ever on the western side of the state and you see a snake, it's not going to be a rattlesnake. Um, what happens is we see an emergence of rattlesnakes around April and May. This is when they're coming out of their hibernaculas, which are their den sites that they go into during the winter. So they'll emerge from those. They'll kind of sit in the cracks of those for a little bit, and then they'll start spreading out to go to their feeding sites, their shedding sites, and they'll go back into those dens kind of later in the fall. Um, a lot of people kind of associate rattlesnakes with the big square head, the vertical pupils, the pits on the front of the face, and of course that token rattle. Um, not all rattlesnakes are going to rattle at you though if you walk past them, so that's a common misconception. Some rattlesnakes will actually sit very quietly in hopes that you will just go right past them and ignore them. They're never trying to attack you. They're never coming after you to purposely bite you or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You're not worth the venom that they have. They want to save that and use it for the food uh, that they're hunting. They are ambush predators, so they do just kind of sit and wait for a rodent to come by them. You can see that this snake right here is using its tongue um, to kind of flick chemicals into those pits that'll then go to the Jacobson, Oregon, which kind of allows it to create an image in its head of what it's looking at or what's in front of it. We do have other snakes here in Washington that look very similar to rattlesnakes that often get mistaken for them, uh, the gopher snake being the number one culprit for that. But you can see that this little guy does not have the triangle head, he doesn't have vertical pupils or the pits. His patterning somewhat looks like a, a rattlesnake, but he's definitely not. He doesn't have the little rattle. These guys are usually found on the roads. They're pretty nice for the most part. So what should you do if you ever encounter a rattlesnake on a trail when you're out this summer? First and foremost, do not ever move a rattlesnake from the trail yourself. And please, under no circumstances, should you ever kill a rattlesnake. Most accidents that happen with rattlesnake bites are from people who are trying to handle the snake. Just give the snake a really wide berth around it. Make sure you're watching where you're stepping to make sure that you're not going to step on any other snake. And the snake will leave you alone and you can both enjoy the trail um, just the way you wanted to. Rattlesnakes are really cool animals. We're really lucky to have them. They're crucial parts of our ecosystem. They keep rodent populations down, which help keep disease down. Um, and they're really beautiful animals. They're highly misunderstood. Um, but like I said, they're not going to come after you. They mean you absolutely no harm. They're really neat. 